finish here at the Lathwaite Community Stadium, Woken 2, Dagenham or Everish Nil. Delighted to say I'm joined by Martin Tyler. Martin, 2 0 winners, you must be very pleased. Very pleased. Uh, the result, obviously, is the most important thing, but the way we played, um, the way we played in the first half when we really did deserve to be two goals up, and then the way we managed it in the second half. Mm. Um, Dagenham lost a couple of players early on to injury, which I think affected the way they played, but they certainly still had a lot of good players on the field. and until the last couple of minutes we, we didn't take anything for granted in the dugout most importantly on the pitch the players didn't take anything for granted and I was as pleased with the second half with the managing of a 2-0 lead which the old cliche that commentators always use a 2-0 being a, a dangerous lead it certainly is and uh, um, but we um, sent them out with the same sense of purpose for the second half and they were great I mean it, it's nice to say after four games really that we've exceeded perhaps the expectations of everybody involved but we're a tight-knit group and um, you know we drive each other on uh, looking inwards and everybody has expected certain standards and so far uh, everyone's met those standards and the, the results speak for themselves funny enough obviously everybody said well you lost 4-0 at like Chesterfield but we actually played really well mm. between the third minute and the 83rd minute that doesn't win you a game yeah. as the scoreline shows but um, it was encouraging to come into the game today. It wasn't as though we felt we'd come off the back of a hiding. You know, the result might show that, but the match didn't. So the boys had a lot of confidence and they showed it. Mm. And conceding four on Saturday, crucial to keep a clean sheet here tonight as well. Yeah, that's one of the targets for the team, not just the defenders. Um, Craig Ross very pleased with it, and uh, rightly so. That's two clean sheets in four games, and uh, they worked very hard. Nathan Collier made a great tackle right at the end and just showed the determination. I think if we let a goal in then we'd still have won the game, but they wanted a clean sheet as a team and, and as coaches of course we won the clean sheets as well. So uh, now it's it's strange times isn't it? We all know it's strange times. You're talking to me with a mask on and with two metres away from the camera and everything. Uh, it's difficult for everybody but we're just trying to keep our focus on football. We're lucky to be able to put teams out to play and those watching and on the stream particularly or watching this interview um, getting something to talk about that is relevant at a very um, not just for the country but for the world we're still in the midst of the, the difficulties no one's trying to hide that but we're delighted obviously we'd like to have fans in it goes without saying really um, but the, the truth is we're delighted to be playing and obviously to get a win in these kind of circumstances mm. is even sweeter really. Both goals in the first half, it was another game that Woking saw up very professionally, particularly in midfield. Yeah, the midfield, Ben Dempsey was back of course, yeah. um, who uh, Dallas managed to get that one across the line, uh, what's today, Tuesday, on Monday, yeah, so he, but obviously he knows most of the lads mm. having been here last season, uh, I think he came back happy to be with us again because it hasn't quite worked out for him at Charlton but we're grateful for Charlton to let yeah. things come to us um, and I thought uh, he did extremely well and right from the off really in the, in the, even when we were actually um, controlling the game a bit in the first half he was a, an important factor so Kane Ferdinand just runs you wind him up like those batteries that go on forever and it keeps uh, covering the ground phenomenal achievement and Charlie Cooper whose dad was here Mark yeah, Cooper's yeah. manager of Forest Green he was here watching him tonight so I think from that point of view he put on a good show for his father very much so and uh, on to Saturday three wins from four now on to Saturday with, with Halifax Town the visitors a few familiar faces coming back from the Lathwaite as well and we'll be looking forward to that one with much positivity and confidence I suppose well you'll have to ask Josh Casey who's behind the camera at the moment <laughs> Um, whether Jake Hyde has told him whether he's going to be fit enough to play, but um, we'll wait to see. What do you think, Josh? Don't trust him, he, whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's another game. We're enjoying tonight. The, the players have done extraordinarily well to get three wins out of four and, and play very well in the fourth game as well. So, you know, it's, it's, it's early, but I think we showed last season we made a good start, and that counted for a lot when we had some difficult times further up the road. Um, hopefully we won't have those this time, but um, we know we're a little woking in a big league. Mm -hmm. uh, we're part-time against the, uh, the full-time teams, and that's, that's our mantra really, and that's the only way we can operate. But it brings the best out of certain types of people, and happily we've got a lot of those types in our dressing room. And just finally, with, as I say, that game on Saturday, the games are coming thick and fast. How are you sort of managing everything with the players and, and the staff behind the scenes? Well, we haven't 
been hit too hard by injuries, but Malachi and Napa came off before half time and he was obviously going to be a doubt for Saturday with a, a tight hamstring. I think we got him off as quickly yeah. as we could and he's just told me now that he's had this problem before so he knows how to manage it. Mm. Um, there'll be one or two bumps and bruises as well but it's amazing how um, injuries feel a little less when you've won a game and hopefully we'll be um, ready to go with a, a side very similar to the one that you've seen tonight. But we have got options. I mean, John Goddard didn't even make the, the 16 tonight. So, you know, that tells you what, you know, the, the strength that we do have in certain areas. So it's very competitive and competition is what keeps the players on their toes. And uh, we're trying to do that within the, the financial restrictions that we all know the clubs are in. And I must say to everybody who's, who has uh, subscribed on the stream, um, it means so much to us. It obviously gives you a chance to watch the game and I'm glad it's been a game worth watching but the truth is those contributions are one of the few revenue streams that we have at the moment. So please help all you can and uh, switch on at 3 o'clock on Saturday Woking v Halifax. Martin, thanks for your time and well done, three points. Thank you.